it's Mabot. I'm currently in charge of Ilvi's Mazingira Center, which is a state-of-the-art environmental research laboratory. And within the program of Climate Smart Livestock, I'm uh, leading activity A and also contributing to activity C, which means activity A is we are really focusing on providing um, essential localized um, data on greenhouse gas emission baselines from livestock systems in East Africa. But also we're trying to test specific interventions which are realistic for farmers to be implement to become more climate smart, meaning to uh, improve their farm productivity, to potentially reduce negative environmental impacts, but also to be better adopted to climate change. Specific activities is really um, what I just mentioned, baselining, so trying to understand the currently existing livestock systems. This builds on experience we have from past projects, but now we're expanding not just to different countries, we're also going to Ethiopia and Uganda, but also to systems we have not studied yet. And this is particularly important because um, we need local data um, in terms of greenhouse gas emissions from animals, from soils, from manure, from livestock systems in general, uh, to allow these individual countries to report um, under their NDCs and UNF, Triple C and the Paris Climate Agreement. But also, all these countries have signed the Paris Climate Agreement and they have to show how they can reduce emissions over time. And you can only actually prove that you're reducing emissions if you actually know what your emissions are at the moment. And this data has not been available so far. And we're not just getting the baselining, but we're also looking at farm productivity, at current farm practices and farm management, and try to identify, identify options to actually boost productivity without compromising the environment. I think the program for Climate Smart Livestock is especially important not just for the countries themselves to really fulfill their requirements under the Paris Climate Agreement, but it is the first time the chance that we had a larger regional scale getting real localized data, uh, which really has not been available so far and can sort of evidence-based decision making also following what the farm systems look like, what are management practices and how we can really sort of come to a brighter climate smart uh, future. And a big component of that is actually also capacity building. So we have a lot of students on, on board who do this kind of work in the field together with the scientists, uh, but we mean, which means we have master students in each of the countries locally uh, employed. We have research assistants, so we're sort of also building capacity in terms of um, technical skills, which are yet um, to be built. And we have a whole range of PhD students who really sort of um, can become the future generation of scientists in the area of environmental sciences or global climate change science. I think what is really, really cool about the project is that we are not just doing biophysical measurements, but we are actually trying to multidisciplinary understand systems. So we have also our social scientists in the team, our, um, um, future scenario uh, sort of people working together and we're looking at many different angles within the project but it's actually different disciplines uh, working together as a team and it's not just individual components um, the whole project is built in a way that these are should interlink with each other and uh, what I expect what we uh, will have reached in four years or roughly four years um, when the project is finishing is First of all, we have scientific evidence. I mean, we will have basically scientific publications which really prove on what is currently ongoing in livestock system in Eastern Africa. Um, with that, I think we have um, a whole pool of very skilled um, young researchers and uh, research technicians who can actually sort of follow up on that um, locally and within local governments. And um, what I really hope is that also that there is um, a bigger and better and more holistic understanding uh, between the governments and also a link how things can be achieved at a farm level, what needs to be done to become real climate smart. Mm -hmm.